Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Connie's Cooking Channel. Today, we are going to make overnight baked French toast casserole. And you already know it's going to be delicious. I have two cups of sugar to start with, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and you can use as much. <laughs> I like cinnamon, so I'll go ahead and pour that in there. This is our cinnamon sugar, ladies and gentlemen. So it should look like that once you're done. After our cinnamon sugar is made, we are going to crack eight eggs. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Now I normally take my the white part out of my egg, so give me one second. Next, I'm going to add in some pure vanilla extract. Make sure it's not the imitation, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure it's pure vanilla extract. There's a difference between imitation and this regular extract ladies and gentlemen i'll let that be your homework assignment <laughs> just a pinch of salt ladies and gentlemen and now we need to add in our creamer now i'm making a twist to this ladies and gentlemen i'm actually going to use some french vanilla creamer okay it doesn't matter which brand it is but just as a french vanilla creamer the kind you use in your coffee I've used it before when I was in Cincinnati visiting my family and actually it gives it a very nice creamy texture, ladies and gentlemen, trust and believe me. So we're gonna have one cup of this and I'm going to use a cup of half and half. to balance it out. Oh yes, let's give this a stir. After you have your mixture blended very well, we're gonna set this aside and go to the next step. We are going to add a half a cup of light brown sugar. This is perfect for a weekend or if you have a large family or people coming over to chill with you over the weekend, this would be a perfect dish to make. I've melted one stick of unsalted butter. Now I'm using a nine by 13 baking dish. And you know, my baking dish is pretty long. I'm gonna coat the bottom with my butter and around the edges. Now we want to add in a generous amount of our cinnamon sugar mixed with our brown sugar to the bottom of our nine by 13 dish. And you're probably wondering what kind of bread we're using, right? <laughs> using French bread. And we are going to slice our bread Make sure I'm on camera. About an inch to an inch and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're in the neighborhood, you wanna try this, come on by and get you some. <laughs> we are going to layer the bottom part of our nine by 13 dish with our bread. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our egg mixture. And we're gonna use about two to three cups on top of our bread. We wanna make sure we coat our bread very well. Let's grab our cinnamon sugar, 
brown sugar mixed. And this sprinkle that on top. Oh, yum, yum, ladies and gentlemen. Yum, yum. To the top of our first layer. I'm going to smash it down some, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to soak up all of those flavors. Now we're going to come back with our egg mixture again and repeat what we just did. And now we need to drizzle some more of our cinnamon sugar on top with our brown sugar. Add in some pecans, ladies and gentlemen, some chopped pecans. Sprinkle that on top. But this is going to be delicious. I should have cut that end off, but I did not do that to make it look flat. But y'all see, that's the difference right there. <laughs> it's still going to be edible. Let me grab some aluminum foil. And we're gonna seal this very tight. Let's place this inside of our refrigerator. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish this off. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am back. It is the next day. We take a quick look at our covered overnight refrigerated French toast. I have my oven preset for 350 degrees. I'm gonna cover this back up nice and tight. We're gonna let this bake in the oven until it's done. Once I come back, I'll let you know exactly how long it took so that you'll be able to make this recipe. This is gonna be delicious, y'all. I'll see you back once it's done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our French toast. It smells good in the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. It smells good. Oh, yes. Now, I'm going to let this cool off just a tad bit before I dig into it. Now, you can serve this with some eggs, some sausage, some bacon if you like. But remember, we already have eggs in here, so you may not want to overdo it. But you can eat this by itself, get you a cup of tea or coffee, and you'll be full, trust and believe me. Give me about five minutes, I'll come back, cut into it, and we'll get a piece. I'm gonna slice this down the middle. Just dig right into this. Oh my, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that, y'all. What do y'all think? Does that not look delicious? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family. Share, 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 share. We're almost to our next milestone of 9,000 subscribers. We can do it, ladies and gentlemen. Leave your question or your comments below and I will respond. And if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you will be notified on my next video upload. What do y'all think about this? Does that not look delicious? Ooh, yes, Jesus. Oh, yes, y'all. I know I want to pig out. Let me cut that down some. <laughs> now get you some syrup. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yes, Jesus. I do not think I'm going to use any maple syrup because this right here alone is sweet enough. 
with those pecans. Lord, we have a winner. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. God bless you. Y'all have a beautiful day. And I will see you again on the next video.